Hello, creative muses. Um, we are at day seven of our creative practice. And um, today I am going to show you a mixed media practice that I do for lots of little creative pieces, paintings, um, art pieces, and art drilling pages. And um, it's using collage and just a variety of media. Um, just to give you another little uh, trick for your toolkit that you could use um, in this 21 days and beyond. And so some of the things that I am going to be using, I have a variety of papers, magazines, little bits of paper, wrapping paper, tissue paper, any kind of paper. Um, you can even just, you know, go through your rubbish bin and see what sort of little scraps you have from mail and whatnot. Um, I have, I'm using some Mod Podge, which is a clear medium that acts like a glue um, and dries clear. Glue works, glue sticks, um, tape, whatever you might have if you want to stick some things on there. Um, I have some oil pastels. I have some acrylic paint here um, behind me. I have some paint pens. Um, you do not have to have any of these things. You can participate with this prompt with whatever you have, but I just wanted to share with you another, another way. Um, so if you want to play around with whatever stuff you've got, um, I invite you to do so. And our prompt for today is how can I move in and out of the light and the darkness and we have been talking a lot about light for these six days and thinking of you know the solstice as energizing and rebirth and reawakening and i get this visual every time i think of that and i see those words associated as like this like ah you know light streaming through the clouds and um and that is beautiful. And I definitely am feeling a light, you know, source within me being um, fed and and nurtured. And I feel it getting brighter and growing. And there is so much beauty and mystery in the darkness of moving towards the solstice, which is the longest night of the year in the winter solstice. And um, just the opportunity for reflection and curiosity and you know the self-discovery that we engage with you know when we allow ourselves to go into that that beautiful rich magical darkness and so this page is i'm just going to be gently holding that inquiry you know when i'm bringing light into my page, what is that feeling like? How am I engaging? And then when I move back down into the darker, you know, parts, how does that, and then when it's done, really reflecting on how the two, the light and the dark complement each other visually, you know, aesthetically in my composition on my page, as well as in my life. So thank you for joining us. And I'm going to um, demo some of this and talk through it and then I will time lapse through the process and share with you a little bit at the end. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. So I just have my page here and for myself, so I just can hold it gently and for you, I'm going to write, can I move? in and out of the light and the dark. And as I'm reading that, saying that out loud, can I, you know, because sometimes, sometimes the dark feels really good and cozy and safe. And there's, there's something about that that I really resonate with. And it's, sometimes it's hard to move out and allow myself to be seen and be in the light. Um, and then the same, sometimes being in the light um, makes it harder when we need to move back in and let ourselves reflect um, in that mystery. So, all right.
All right, I just wanted to follow up and tell you a little bit about what kind of came up for me during this process. Um, you know, I I felt a little uncomfortable with some of this, some of the steps. Like I wasn't sure how it was going to work out, um, and I felt um, myself going into places that I thought that the darkness used to represent for me um, and realizing that that has shifted and changed for me. Um, and so I just want to share with you that sometimes in a creative process, we will get to um, moments in our piece where we're like, ah, what's happening? I messed it up or I didn't, you know, I didn't bring that in the way I wanted it to. And all of that is information. Um, for us to reflect on and consider, you know, especially if we think of the inquiry that we brought into it. So I'm going to sit with it now and I'm going to do some writing and I will share that with you later. Um, if the other bits, uh, there's a lot there. So um, I hope you enjoyed the process. Again, you can take this inquiry and use any medium um, or contemplative practice that you want with it. Um, but this was just another, another method with the mixed media and the collage and the layering. Layering can be really powerful for kind of coming in and out of different thought processes. So thanks again for joining us for the 21 daily practices and for day seven, can I move in and out of the light and the darkness? Blessed be.